Hey there, this is just a basic example of logic gates and some of their uses. We are going to start and talk about the controller. The controller can only have one input at a time, but can have up to 10 outputs if you fully upgrade it. The first row of the controller will control the default or at rest position of the item you have set up. Then you have 10 rows that you can program in some commands. In this case, I have programmed my controller to open a door and make some stairs. This controller has been set to the loop function and the two bearings set to rotate 360 degrees to show you that if you do that, it will never repeat and you can make a drive system or mining system whatever you wish. Also, to note, if you stack multiple bearings, you can create a gearbox if you want to create a vehicle or a fast moving object. And then we have the AND gate. Probably should be called the ALL gate because it needs all of its inputs in order to turn on. If it's missing any, it will not work. An important thing with logic gates is a, a logic gate can have as many inputs and outputs as you desire. Works for all the logic gate types. Here's an example of an AND gate having multiple inputs controlling a controller. Here's an example of it as a combination lock. An important note with logic gates is the direction in which you wire them indicated by the little arrows. If you get that the wrong way around, it will not work. Everything needs to flow in your desired direction. So be mindful of this in your creations because it's very difficult sometimes to spot the one connection you got wrong. The OR gate needs only one of its signals to turn on. It has the OR command, so every time it gets a signal, it will operate. Doesn't matter which one it gets, or how many it has, it will activate. An example of this is it doesn't matter how many base entrances you have, they can all be used to activate your lights, or any other contraption. Finally, we have the exclusive OR gate, which is very similar to the OR gate, but when it gets a signal, it will toggle each time. The OR gate, if we change this to an OR gate, would become bound with only one input or multiple. The exclusive OR gate will toggle each time it is activated. And we have the NAND gate. All these three gates are literally the opposite of these gates. So there, you already know how to use them. This is a NAND gate, but it starts in its opposite state. The AND gate starts off, this one starts on. So simply when it gets all of its signals, it will turn off rather than turn on. Same with the NOR gate. It starts on and receives any signal to turn off. And finally, the exclusive NOR gate, which functions exactly the same every time it is toggled, it will activate, it just starts in a positive state rather than a negative state. I hope this was helpful and lets you get started with your creations. Good luck. Thanks for watching.